Someone once asked the Lubavitcher Rebbe, what do you do if life brings you down? To which the Rebbe answered, if it's life, how can it bring you down? You see, guys, ladies and gentlemen, life doesn't have to change. You must change to live beautifully. You need to shift on your life to happiness. To shift on your life to success and blessings. Okay? I'm a very firm believer that you must pray. You must believe. The beliefs, the psychology belief is so very important to get results in life. Yes. But you need to shift completely how you go and look at these things that you pray for. These things that you engage in. How would you act if you expect things to happen? How would you act if you just hope and just, you know, I pray, God willing, yeah, I hope, I hope. You know, I'm a firm believer, firm and firm, that you should pray and go and strive and all of that. But don't use that as a crutch to not do your part. Okay? It goes beyond belief. You have to become a clea. You have to become a vessel to accept goodness. If you do nothing, nothing will change. You tell a guy, it's like, it's like the guy says, I want, I want money, I want money, and never buys a ticket. How are you going to get the, you know, win the lottery if you never bought the ticket? I don't believe in gambling. That's, forget about it. But I'm just giving that as an, as an example. You got to do your part. You got to shift your beliefs. You got to engage in actions, in rituals. Shift on your life to happiness. Shift on your life to abundance. In Hebrew, they call it shefa. Abundance. There's so much abundance in the world, yet we live in lack and limitations because of our beliefs. Because we make ourselves live in a limited state. Why? Why? Why be limited? Your only real limitation is you. Take accountability for your success and your happiness. Yes, again, to be very clear. Be a believer. Pray to God. God exists and he loves you and he wants you to be happy. Of course. And without prayer and without divine providence, nothing works. Of course. But once you've prayed and once you've asked, what have you done? Are you really engaging in those series of steps that are required? to bring results. There are laws in the universe. There's the law of gravity. It hasn't changed. Every single person that jumps from a roof is gonna go down, right? We can say, well, I don't like the law. I'll pray to God. But God created that law. Follow it, you'll get a result. Don't follow it, you'll get a result. Whatever you do, you'll get a result. You gotta shift on your life to success. Believe, pray, but do. Doing is so very important. Come, join me for the journey of taking back our lives, of coming back stronger than ever. Come and join me. I'm going to be taking you alongside me to grow, to progress, to succeed, to live beautifully, to live happy. But guess what? It depends on you. And if you succeed, and if you don't, guess whose who's fault, whose responsibility it is? You. Pray, but do. Shift time, Australia.